All right, guys, welcome to the fifth and final episode of my full week of working out series. The video series where I show you guys all of my workouts, all of my exercises, all of my rips, and all of my sits to let you guys know exactly what is it I'm currently doing if it comes to my training. Today is going to be the fifth episode and the last one, and it's going to be my second pull day of the week. This is going to be a one-arm pull-up focused weighted calisthenics pull workout and it's going to be my medium weight pull workout of the week. As always, the full workout is down in the description, but now let's dive right into today's video. Before every single workout, I spend about 10 to 15 minutes warming up my shoulders and my wrist thoroughly, but I've actually made a full video on my warming up routine a couple of weeks ago. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, and you guys wanna know how I'm actually warming up, make sure to check out that video. But now let's dive into the actual workout, starting off with some skill training. On every single upper body workout, I'll do about two blocks of 10 minutes of some skill training and today is going to be some front lever and some plant and some handstand training but we're gonna start off with some front lever doing some straddle holds followed by some assisted straddle holds back to back we're gonna do that about three times and then finishing off with one advanced tuck hold it's pretty much the exact same thing as on my first pull workout and once again I actually really like the combination of starting off with one full body weight very hard hold combined with some assisted hold to pretty much get some more time on the tension in using the resistance band and pretty much since doing this my front lever has been going a hell of a lot better and so I definitely recommend you guys to try this out if you guys aren't already and then the advanced tuck hold towards the end is pretty much just to get a little bit more volume in get a little bit more time on the tension in because after about three sets of a straddle front lever holds I honestly cannot hold them any longer which is why I go down to an advanced tuck hold to finish off my front lever training and then if it comes to my planche and my handstand training on my pull days I'll pretty much do some basic exercises to pretty much work on some shoulder and some wrist conditioning if it comes to my planche training this is going to consist of some normal planche leans combined with some basic dynamic planche exercises this is pretty much to improve on my basic foundation and doing this every single pull workout has had a massive positive effect on my planche training and it's really helping me to improve on my planche holds that I do every single push workout. And then if it comes to my handstand training, we're gonna be doing some wall handstand holds, pretty much trying to put my fingertips as close to the wall as possible to really force your body to be perfectly aligned, just like you would like to be when doing your freestanding holds. And this is to work first and foremost on alignment and second of all, to pretty much work on my wrist and my shoulder endurance, which has had a massive positive effect on my freestanding handstand holds that I do on my push days. And then after 10 minutes of front lever and then 10 minutes of some planche and handstand training, we can actually move on to the main reps and sets part of today's workout. Because today is going to be a one-arm pull-up focused pull workout, we're gonna be starting off with the band assisted one-arm pull-ups. If you guys are watching my videos for a bit longer than today, you guys will know that I'm a massive, massive fan of this exercise, and it pretty much is going to be one of the best exercises out there to work your way up towards the full one-arm pull-up. And if you guys saw my last full day of working out series, you guys will know that I'm currently experimenting with some half reps and I'm actually really, really enjoying this. So I'm only gonna go up until I have about 90 degrees of flexion in my elbow. Not much higher than this once again because I'm gonna be doing some half reps. We're gonna be doing one top set and then follow that up with about three back off sets. On the top set, we're gonna be doing the hard progression that I can currently do, which usually ends up being about one or two reps. And on the back of that, we're gonna be doing an easier progression and that usually ends up being about four to five reps on this pull day. But on my first pull workout, I actually go a little bit lower in reps on my back offset, but I've actually explained that in my previous pull day workout video. But even on my medium weight pull workout, I'm actually pretty much staying in the strength rep range, doing relatively low reps, because as I've mentioned before, I really don't find this exercise that well suited for doing higher rep ranges. So even though these are back offsets, I do still keep my reps relatively low, but I'm gonna go a little bit higher reps when I'm doing my weighted pull-ups further down in this workout. The goal with this exercise is to pretty much get more reps out on my top sets because every single time that I hit about two reps on my top set, I'm gonna grab the band a little bit lower, therefore moving up on progression and getting a little bit closer towards the one-arm pull-up. And then the back offsets are there to work on a little bit faster rep pace and to get more reps in after a single or a double on my top sets. 
after the last set of my back offsets I'm going to be doing a little variation because after I'm done with both of my arms I'm actually going to do one more rip on each arm which pretty much I feel like is a fantastic way to get more reps out on this exercise and because you're going to be squeezing that rip out where you're not fully recovered I actually find this one a very good tactic to pretty much work your way through plateaus that you might have on this exercise. So one top and then three back offsets before moving on to the next exercise in this pull workout which is going to be the weighted pull up. As you guys know I'm a massive fan of this exercise because it is an absolutely fantastic exercise to build up your pulling strength and it's also one of the best accessory exercises when you're training for the one arm pull up. On this one, pretty much the same thing as on the assisted one arm pull ups, we're going to be doing one top set and then three back off sets. On my top set, I'm going to be doing about five reps, and on the back off sets, we're going to be doing about six to eight reps. And so on this exercise, we're pretty much going to be combining some strength and some hypertrophy training. The goal with my top set is to pretty much increase the weight as the weeks progress. And then the back off sets are pretty much there to get more reps in and to pretty much work on some faster rep pace. And then once again, adding in some hypertrophy elements after my strength training. So pretty much getting stronger and building muscle on this exercise before moving on to the next exercise which is going to be the explosive pull up. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I actually really like to end up my pull workouts with some explosive pull up variations and the explosive pull up is pretty much one of the best exercises out there to do this. It's also very very nice to do this after your strength training because at this point in time my CNS is primed to pretty much move more weight than my body weight. So I find that when doing this I actually feel light after I've been doing all my weighted pull ups and I want to pull up training. On this exercise we're going to be doing about two sets of four reps but I'm actually more bothered about getting more explosive and pulling myself higher up than actually increasing the reps so I'm pretty much throughout the weeks keeping my reps pretty much constant and just focusing on pulling myself up higher and higher and higher to really work on my explosive pulling strength. And then to finish off today's pull workout, one more exercise which is going to be the face pull. And like I've actually mentioned in the last pull day video, I used to do this on my push days but now I've actually moved them to my pull days which definitely makes a lot more sense. And this exercise is absolutely amazing to pretty much work on your shoulder health, shoulder stability and to work on your posture which definitely is very very important for the calisthenics people out there because when you're training for planche you're pretty much always going to be doing the protraction in the shoulder so it definitely makes sense to also work on the retraction to keep your shoulders nice and balanced and nice and healthy and keep them free from injuries. We're going to be doing two sets of 20 reps on this exercise and yes that is quite a lot of reps but the muscle that you're going to be working on this exercise aka your rotator cuff and your delts aren't that big of muscles so it definitely doesn't make sense to work low reps on this exercise instead get more reps out to really strengthen those small muscles and to keep your shoulders nice and healthy and then after this exercise that is going to be it for this pull workout. And that is going to be the full pull workout for today, a total of about 12 sets. After every single upper body session, I do spend about 10 to 15 minutes kind of stretching out my upper body, but I've actually made a full video dedicated to my upper body stretching routine a couple of weeks ago. So if you guys want to check out that video, I'll put the link up in one of the two upper corners for you to check the video out. And like I actually talked about in my last pull day video, the pull workouts definitely haven't changed a lot since the last training block, but that pretty much is because it's still working for me. I'm still progressing whilst doing these numbers and these rep ranges. So I'm gonna keep my pull workouts pretty much the same for the foreseeable future, because once again, what isn't broken doesn't have to be fixed. But for now, this actually is going to be the end of today's video. So as always, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Share the video with somebody that you think it might be helpful to. If you guys have any more video ideas, advice or questions, leave it down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always on a Tuesday, a Thursday and Sunday. Three videos a week. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Latest.